up guys, Coach A here, and today we're going to look at the dead bug and variations for the uh, dead bug. So uh, you will need a mat. I folded mine in half so that it can double up the, uh, the padding that you have here. You really only need half, as long as your head's on the, on the mat. And so dead bugs, their arm and legs are in the air, or you can just leave your arms down if it's too confusing to do both. And what we're gonna do with the most basic dead bug is just toe taps, dropping our leg down and back up, excuse, sorry. And you can put your hands here on your hips and make sure that you're drawing in on your belly button and keeping your uh, core tight rather than uh, pushing it out because we don't want your belly to go out, we want it to draw in and support your lower back. So if you keep your hands kind of on your hips around your lower abs, you'll be able to tell if things are, you know, tightening up when you drop that leg, alternating right to left, or we can do all one side and then all the other side if you prefer. So that's one variation, that's the beginner version. And so an intermediate version would be extending the legs, hovering, and then coming back in, alternating. Every time you come in, you compress and draw in your belly towards the floor. And you can breathe out. And then if we do one right and then one left, that's one rep. Right. One right, one left, and then we count. So you can either count one, one, two, two, like that, or you can count and then just double the number. So one, two, three, and if I say 15 reps, that's 15 right, 15 left, so that's 30 reps. So the more advanced version is if you have your legs both out and you hold the out, and then you draw in your knee. So you maintain tension the entire time. This is killer. And so if you want, you can always start the reps like this, and then once it becomes to the point where you can't hold it like this anymore with good form, you just shift to the, the, the other version with the knees in and then finish off the set. And then you can progress from there. But this, this one with the legs out and then you alternate with the feet in. This one can be uh, quite a challenge. You see I'm like shaking. <laughs> so this is the dead bug. Beginner, then intermediate, obviously, and advanced. So give it a go. Let me know how it goes. Comment down below. Can you do all three? Can you do two of three? Let me know. I would like to know um, how you, what you think of this exercise. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.